Hi, this is LaCretia folks. I am the founder of Rooted in Love and Truth. And today I'm coming to you with one of my truths. Um, over the course of the last few weeks, a lot of my friends um, have lost family members, um, which also brings to me um, some reflections of my own grief and loss um, over the last few years of my life. And I've been challenged in figuring out how to deal with um, helping and supporting a friend, but also the reoccurrence of my own grief and loss. So when I lost um, these significant people in 2016, I took a different route than I did um, five years prior to that um, when I lost um, my father, I went and got counseling. And through that process of counseling, I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about my grief and loss. I learned um, how being someone who raised in the church and all of that, how I dealt with grief and loss um, when it concerned someone else and then when it concerned myself personally. And in that process, I believe that I'm able to help others even more because I understand it, one, from an outsider's point of view of not knowing the person directly, but also personally, um, when someone close to me, my friends or additional family members lose someone, I then go back into my grief cycle sometimes. And that, and that may take me to many places in my emotions and people don't necessarily talk about that piece of it. Um, but I've learned that I have to be in tune with myself. So I'm encouraging all of you to be in tune with that because once you lose a significant person in your life and you hear, oh, such and such lost their mother or their father or their grandmother. Um, and if you've had those losses, you go back to that place of remembrance of this is what I felt during that time. But we also want to be aware that we don't fall back into the deep and dark places of our own grief. Um, grief is a cycle and we all have to deal with that cycle accordingly. But we also have to be mindful of when to own our stuff and to not hold on to what others are carrying through their grief and the beginnings of their grief. So be there to be supportive. Um, stay in tune with your emotions. That's what I've been having to do. Um, and understanding when it's my stuff or when it's the sympathy or empathy that I'm feeling for someone else and how to let go of that, that part of it. Maybe it's journaling. Maybe it's writing a memory down that lifts you back up, that will restore you to where you need to be in that time period of your life. But understanding, being in tune to who you are and your emotions, that is going to be the main thing you have to do when it comes to this place of grief that you may be dealing with. And then when you're supporting someone else, honestly, as a friend, I can do but so much. Um, and during my time of grief, only my friends could do but so much. Um, and sometimes it is encouraging that person to go see a counselor, work through those grief um, issues and the emotions that come with them, because that's what they're there for. That's what they're trained for. And as a friend, you want to be there to help and support. But sometimes it's just past where we are as people um, if we don't have that training. And sometimes if your friend is a counselor and have been trained, they still aren't the person you should go to. Go to somebody else, someone who's objective, someone who will call you on your stuff and help you work through the stuff that they might not want to touch. And then there's some things you're not just going to share with them. So just be real with yourself and those, those feelings and those emotions. Um, that's what I wanted to share today. Just be true to yourself and learn where you are in that process. And when you can't, Go, go find somebody that can help you. Um.